What is a perpetual motion machine? It is a machine that produces more work or energy than it consumes. Until recently, perpetual motion was considered hypothetical, an unproven idea or theory. That is, until now. Using a few simple components, you can build your own perpetual motion machine. Here we have a simple motor that runs without any external power source. Once started, it will continue to run until stopped. The motor consists of a hand-wound coil, a unipolar magnet, two support posts, and a base for mounting. Here's how it works. The coil is suspended above the base and rests in slots cut into the support posts. When the magnet is placed under the coil, it induces a small current through the coil magnetizing it. This magnetic field in the coil is repelled by the magnet, forcing the coil to turn. Since we are using a unipolar magnet, the coil will spin continuously. Now let's build our first perpetual motion motor. We'll start by making the magnet. A perpetual motion motor requires a special type of magnet known as a unipolar magnet. While regular magnets have both a north and south pole as shown here, unipole magnets have only one pole. They are most commonly used in unipolar stepper motors and are relatively expensive. But you can make your own unipolar magnet. While it won't have as strong a magnetic field as a commercial unipolar type, it will work just fine for our project. To make a unipolar magnet from a regular bar type magnet with north and south poles, cut off one pole as shown. In this example, the north pole has been cut from the bar magnet, creating a unipolar magnet with a north pole only. We now have the magnet we need to make our perpetual motion motor. Now we need to wind a coil. To make a coil you will need 22 gauge solid conductor enameled magnet wire available at Radio Shack. A coil form to wind the coil on as shown. A one inch piece of dowel will work just fine. Also useful are some five minute epoxy, super glue, and some strong thread. The more turns of wire in the coil the stronger the magnetic field produced. 20 turns of 22 gauge enamel magnet wire works just fine. Start by winding at least 20 turns of wire around the coil form as shown. It makes no difference which direction you wind the coil. Be sure to leave long leads at each end of the coil. They will become the shafts of the coil. Next, compress the windings together as shown. This makes the winding more compact so that it will produce a stronger magnetic field. Remove the coil form and use thread to tie the coil so that it doesn't come apart. Watch the coil as it spins. Notice that the shafts are off-centered. Bend the ends of the wire around the coil a couple of times so that they form the shafts and are 180 degrees from each other. They should be centered so that approximately one half of the turns of the coil are on each side of the shafts. This will make the coil more balanced and improve overall performance. Once you have the coil aligned properly, apply a small drop of 5 minute epoxy where each end of the wire wraps around the coil to form the shaft. This will keep the shaft aligned properly. When the epoxy hardens, apply super glue to the coil windings to keep them together. Then, scrape the enamel off each shaft so that the shaft will make electrical contact with the support posts. The coil is now complete. Let's look at my working motor. I used a block of wood for the base and two nails for the support posts. I add the magnet which has small pieces of wood attached on each side to center it between posts. Then I place the coil in the slots on the posts and give it a spin. Perpetual motion is achieved when I spin the coil. The unipolar magnet we made has only a north pole. It induces a small current into the coil creating a magnetic field with only a south pole. These two poles repel each other making the coil rotate. 
The coil is rotating quite fast. However, due to the wagon wheel effect of the camera, the coil appears to rotate erratically and stutter. The wagon wheel effect, which you often see in the movies, makes wagon wheels appear to stop or even rotate backwards. The coil will continue to turn until the magnet or coil is removed. 